Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. As someone who has witnessed the birth and evolution of time travel, I have a unique perspective on the Mandela Effect. It's time to unravel the truth behind this mysterious phenomenon, which has puzzled and captivated people for centuries. First, let us explore the Mandela Effect. Named after the late Nelson Mandela, it is a collective false memory phenomenon where a large group of people remember an event, fact, or detail differently from the way it actually occurred. This effect was first noticed when many people believed that Nelson Mandela had died in prison during the 1980s, when in fact he was released in 1990 and went on to become the president of South Africa. Other examples include people misremembering the popular children's book series as Berenstain Bears, instead of Berenstain Bears, and the famous line from the movie Star Wars, Luke, I am your father, which is actually, no, I am your father. Now, let's delve into the reason behind the Mandela Effect. As a time traveler, I have seen how the fabric of the space-time continuum can be altered. When time travelers like myself visit the past, even the smallest actions can create ripples that affect reality. These ripples manifest as subtle changes in the timeline, which cause the Mandela Effect. Sometimes, these changes are minor, such as the spelling of a book's title. Other times, they can be as significant as the life or death of a historical figure. The multiverse theory plays a crucial role in understanding the Mandela Effect. According to this theory, there are an infinite number of parallel universes that exist simultaneously, each with their own unique set of circumstances, events, and timelines. When a time traveler ventures into the past, they create a new branch in the multiverse. This new branch contains all the possible outcomes of their actions, resulting in the creation of alternate realities. These alternate realities can sometimes bleed into our own, causing people to remember events or details from a parallel universe. This is the fundamental cause of the Mandela Effect. As time travelers, we have a responsibility to minimize our impact on the past to prevent these unwanted consequences. However, despite our best efforts, the Mandela Effect is an inevitable side effect of time travel. I, Synthax, have dedicated my life to studying the Mandela Effect and developing strategies to mitigate its impact. My research has led me to the discovery of an ancient artifact known as the Temporal Anchor. The Temporal Anchor is a device that can stabilize the space-time continuum and prevent the creation of alternate realities. With this device, time travelers can explore the past without fear of causing the Mandela Effect. However, the temporal anchor is not without its challenges. The device is incredibly rare and difficult to locate, and only a select few time travelers have been successful in finding it. I embarked on a perilous journey across multiple dimensions and timelines to find the temporal anchor. Along the way, I encountered various alternate versions of history, which only strengthened my resolve to uncover the truth behind the Mandela Effect. My journey took me to a parallel universe where the Roman Empire never fell, a timeline where the American Revolution failed, and even a reality where dinosaurs still roamed the Earth alongside humans. Each of these alternate realities served as a stark reminder of the power that time travelers held, and the need for the temporal anchor to maintain the integrity of the space-time continuum. In each of these alternate realities, I witnessed the immense consequences of even the smallest changes in the timeline. The ripple effects of our actions as time travelers could be far-reaching and unpredictable, this only strengthened my resolve to find the temporal anchor and prevent the Mandela Effect from causing further chaos. As my journey progressed, I discovered clues that led me closer and closer to the temporal anchor. I deciphered ancient texts, navigated treacherous landscapes, and encountered beings from other dimensions who held fragments of information about the elusive artifact. Finally, after years of searching and countless challenges, I found the temporal anchor hidden within a cosmic labyrinth that existed outside of conventional time and space. The labyrinth was an intricate maze of temporal pathways, designed to protect the temporal anchor from falling into the wrong hands. Navigating the labyrinth was an arduous task that required every ounce of my time-traveling expertise. At times, it felt as if I was going in circles, but I persisted, knowing that the fate of countless timelines depended on my success. After what seemed like an eternity, I reached the heart of the labyrinth and found the temporal anchor. The device was a beautiful, intricate piece of machinery, humming with the energy of countless timelines. Its power was almost palpable. With the temporal anchor in my possession, I returned to my own timeline, eager to share my findings with the other time travelers. 
I knew that this discovery had the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the Mandela effect and help us mitigate its impact on the space-time continuum. As word of my discovery spread, I was hailed as a hero by my fellow time travelers. Together, we worked to understand the intricacies of the temporal anchor and develop strategies to use it effectively in our time traveling endeavors. As we gained a deeper understanding of the device, we were able to fine tune our methods and minimize the unintended consequences of our actions in the past. We established a code of ethics for time travelers, emphasizing the importance of preserving the integrity of the space-time continuum and avoiding unnecessary interference in the past. This code became the guiding principle for all our missions, ensuring that the Mandela effect remained under control. The temporal anchor became an invaluable tool in our arsenal, allowing us to explore the vast expanse of time and space with newfound confidence. We were able to witness and document the most pivotal moments in history, all while ensuring that our presence did not disrupt the delicate balance of the universe. Our newfound abilities allowed us to delve deeper into the Mandela effect, uncovering more of its mysteries and gaining a greater understanding of the multiverse. As we continue our journey through time and space, we remain steadfast in our commitment to protect the integrity of the space-time continuum and to ensure that the Mandela effect remains a fascinating, yet contained, phenomenon. With the temporal anchor by our side, we are prepared to face whatever challenges the universe has in store for us. Until we meet again, farewell.